Hello everyone. I want to start by saying I'm so sorry that I didn't weigh in last week or really the week before and the reason is pretty simple. I had an ear infection, kind of an ear, nose, and throat sinus crud that I had and the doctor put me on, you guessed it, steroids. So I've been on another round of steroids um, and we know that this makes you gain a lot of weight, gives you the fat face and everything. And it was kind of a bummer, even though the steroids helped me feel a lot better. Uh, it really sucked to kind of put a stop to all what I, was, I felt I was accomplishing. So I put the weigh-ins on a brief stop for a while just until all the steroid is out of my body, and it is now. So now that I'm off the steroid again, I'm back at it again. I apologize though that I didn't give you an update in the middle, I should have. But what I'm bringing you today is some items that helped me get through, or helped me get through, because I'm in this with you. I think it's called just low carb lifestyle. Like I've, I've done paleo, I've done keto, I've, I've done all these things, and I think that what suits me best is just a healthy, low-carb lifestyle. So I'm not going to call it anything else anymore except low-carb lifestyle, okay? Which means you might have some dairy. Maybe you don't. Maybe every one of us are different, but things that help me get through. Okay, A, this is called Sweet Defeat, and I've only recently purchased this. I just got it in the mail last week, and I just tried it, and it's this mint that is plant-based and has all natural ingredients and it stops sugar cravings. Well, I haven't taken it long enough to know if it stops the actual cravings. However, when you take it, it will make sweets taste very bland and like nothing. For example, I tested it. I took one of these mints and then I ate some brownie brittle and it was the salted caramel variety, which is very flavorful and it, I couldn't taste anything. It tasted like just eating a brick or something. So it works as far as it keeps you from eating the sweets because when they don't taste good, what's the point, you know? Um, now, I, it remains to be seen if the cravings stop because that's how it's supposed to work is over time it stops the craving. Your brain kind of knows that the food's not going to taste good. So sweet defeat and I got it um, there was an ad on Instagram and I got it now one thing I'll tell you is get the 20 or 25 percent off uh, whatever they're offering I actually ordered too soon before I saw that if you sign up for their email you get like 20 percent off so do that because it's like 30 bucks if you don't after after your shipping and all that and it comes with 20 lozenges mm. So get that 20% off um, and try it. I would anyway. Another thing that has gotten me through, or this is a cool little hack. These are called egglets. So you know that you're going to be eating a lot of eggs if you start getting into protein and kind of the low carb thing. Eggs are a savior for you if you need something quick and you make all your bad decisions when you're hungry and, and you need it in a hurry. These are a way to boil these eggs without having to peel them. So you crack the egg into this little, it's a little container. I wonder if I can get it open to show you. Now this one's not been opened yet. Um, and these are, these are $9.99 at CVS, but I had $5 CVS bucks. So I got them for $5. But this is going to tremendously speed up my meal prepping. And having that food on hand and ready is key when we're talking about this plan, this meal plan. You have to have things prepared because if not, you're going to be stuck and you're going to eat whatever's around. And it's, it's always something bad. So these make it really quick. You just pop the egg right out and it comes out like a perfectly beautiful boiled egg. And you don't have to do any peeling, nothing. So that's really cool. Okay, my next thing is something you probably all know about, but it, it bears repeating. This is all natural, no corn syrup, 
no artificial sweeteners, it's vegetarian friendly, it is Halo Top ice cream, okay? You can see that this entire pint is 300 calories, not a quarter of the pint, which is what Bluebell or something like that would be. But you can eat this entire thing and it's a 300 calorie snack. Now, we're talking about carbs a lot, so it's a low carb lifestyle. It says total carbs, 14 grams, minus the dietary fiber, three grams. <clears throat> so it's 11 grams, and that's per half cup. So it's still, and the sugar alcohol is too, five grams. Okay, don't forget about those. But here's the thing. If you can't do the sugar alcohols, like they make you go to the bathroom or whatever, you might not want to do this. But I've had some things that have the high sugar alcohols and that give your stomach, you know, a problem. I haven't experienced that with this. I don't know, maybe it's milder in this. I can't explain it, but I've never once had a prob that problem with this. Now, they're delicious. This is the peanut butter cup, and it is so good. <laughs> like, it is really, really good. You'll, you can tell that the texture of this is a little harder, and it even says on the container to let it soften for a minute. But once you let it soften for like five or 10 minutes, it is just smooth, beautiful ice cream, and it's really delicious. And we've said this before that, no, maybe you shouldn't have any at all, right? But if you're going to cheat or you're going to have something sweet, have something sweet that you can eat half of the thing and it's less than a special K bar or something. You know, it's just 320 calories for the entire thing. That's nothing. Um, I've had little, little diet bars that were 200 calories. It's like your little 200 calorie snack for the day. I'd rather eat half of this than one of those little bars. And the thing about it is this is actually one of the higher calories. Like they have some that are like 180 calories. They have so many flavors now and they have these at Walmart for 388 a pint. Um, they were like $5 and they've, they've come down on the price some. Um, and it is, it's got protein in it. I forgot to even tell you this. This is like a source of protein. What? I know. So, this is something that really is gonna get you through, and especially if you find like one like the pistachio, I think it's like 180 calories or something for the entire thing, I can't. Like, there, and there's so many good flavors now. There's a, there's a waffles and pancake flavor. There's, um, there's this really good cookie flavor. It's like a oatmeal cookie. There's a salted caramel. There's plain vanilla. You know, there's a regular Dutch chocolate. There's so much good. Okay, I'm gonna quit talking about it, but Basically, it's not per se a low carb food, but it's way more low carb than any other snack you're gonna find like this. So these have helped me out of many a jam, okay? The next thing, which may not seem like a hack for you guys, because you're like, why is that a hack? Well, these are extra large, kind of like jumbo shrimp. And the reason I consider them a trick or a hack is because this is something that when I go to a restaurant, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that I'll post things I get at restaurant that I like that I like a lot. And just the other day, I posted some big jumbo shrimp because to me, this is something that's like a treat or something you don't get all the time. It's like we're not just like making this five nights a week. So when I go to a restaurant, I want some jumbo shrimp. So I have found that when I have to kind of restrict myself or when I have to learn better eating habits, it's better for me to have something that I would love to have. Um, and so having these, it's almost like I get something that I'm, that's special for me and I'm still sticking to the high protein, low carb. Um, and these will fill you up more than you think they will. I have two bags here just in case my husband ever wants to eat them with me. But really, these are so big that they fill you up, especially if you put sides of vegetables with them and stuff. And then finally, last but not least, these are called Real Good Pizza Company. This I also found on an Instagram ad. Instagram has started sending me ads of things that they know I'll buy because it always works. I keep buying it. But This is three cheese and uncured bacon. So these pizzas, you may notice, have four grams of carbs. What? I know. And 25 grams of protein per serving. So... Here's what it is. This one is three cheese and uncured bacon. This one is the Supreme. I'll do this one. I ate this one yesterday. Okay. 
The crust is made of really thin pressed natural chicken and Parmesan cheese. So they take it and they, okay, and sunflower oil, skim milk, and what they do is they flatten it down where it's like a little pizza crust. And then they put all the good pizza stuff on it. It had olives and sausage and uh, pepperoni. You feel like you're eating the actual pizza crust because of the way they've got the chicken and the Parmesan pressed. Now, I will say, one of these little bad boys is $5.68. So they're a little bit expensive for pizza. Considering you can get one of those big Totinos for like a dollar. But... This is so much better for you and no crust and no sugar and all of that junk that's in the other pizzas. And I save these for when my family is having something that I really can't have because I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to change their habits. Um, if they want to jump on board, great, but I have to change my habits. Uh, and and if, if they want to follow suit, I'm happy. But I've learned that sitting around and waiting on them to do well, I'm just never going to do well. So I have to do it for myself. But anyway, that's why I eat these. So those are the five items that are really getting me through this or that are helping me through at least the harder parts of it. Now, one thing I want to mention is my workouts, um, which is not part of low carb, <clears throat> but it's so vital to what I'm doing. And I have found that with this workout program, I am already seeing myself get stronger. Every day it gets a little easier. The first few days that I did this program, because I'm on week two now, and it's a 12-week program. So the first two days I did it, I went upstairs and immediately took a nap. I was just so worn out. Um, and that should speak to how I really wasn't pushing myself at the gym, okay? But it makes you push yourself a little, but it's doable. And there's a modified version for everything. And the best part, it's free. If you have a Roku, that's how I get it. It's a free Roku app. But I think it might even be an app that you can get in other places. Now, you can get a commercial free version of this for $8.99 a month. But the commercials don't bother me because the commercials are actually just the perfect amount of time for you to take a water break. So the commercials are like two commercials of 30 seconds. Um, and then they do it again. So it's a total of two minutes um, of commercials. For free, I can, I can do that. I'm okay with that. And it's called NetFit. I don't know if you can see it on this camera because the lighting in here is a little different. But it's called Free NetFit Fitness Training. And if any of you have a hard time finding it, um, just shoot me an email or a comment and I'll get you a link out. I'll try to link it in the com if, in the uh, description if I can. But what they have is they have all these different Pilates and yoga and you'll find a lot of different workouts that might suit you better, especially if you're more advanced. But for me, I wanted to do, okay, that's muscle sculpt. There's a eight week cardio. There's a weight gain plan. No, thank you. Okay, body transformation. That's the one I'm doing. So I did body transformation week one, and now I'm on week two. And let me tell you, by the end of week one, that same workout is getting easier and easier, and you find yourself going from the modified to the regular exercises. And it challenges you enough where you're sore for a little bit, but you also feel like it's something that you can do and accomplish. You feel like you got a good workout after it. Anyway, I'm rambling, but... I feel like I'm going to do that for a while. I might still go to the gym and run on the treadmill, maybe get a little cardio in. But as far as my strength training, I'm going to do that in my living room because I found a free program that I really, really like. And I hope you guys like it. And, you know, anything that's going to make me feel better, like I'm better at working out, I want to do that because I always feel like I suck at working out and my form's bad or people are staring at me or... I don't want to do this in the gym and look like a fool. Try it. Try the program, especially if you have a Roku. All right. I'm done rambling. Next week, we will resume with weekly weigh-ins. Um, again, I had to get that steroid out of my system again. And hopefully, no one will give me any more steroid, okay? And I'll be able to continue with this program.
continue to eat well. I'm excited to hear what you guys have been doing. Are you mad at me? Are you super pissed off that I didn't let you know that I was skipping a week? I'm sorry. Uh, let me know how you're doing because I know it's better when you have a community and it's not cool of me to leave you hanging. So if I take any other breaks, I'd be sure I'll hop on YouTube and let you know. Okay? So I'll see you next time. I can't wait to see what you guys are up to. If you have hacks, if you have treats like this or things that you've purchased, please let me know. Uh, not only do I want to use them myself, but I want to pass them down to everyone else. So if you have something that's really cool, maybe I can put it into my next video if that's okay with you. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Bye.